Hello, my name is Adam Bean and today I would like to play uh, with Model View Controller and uh, the Java EE 8 spec. And what I already did, I just created um, or set a dependency to the Ozark, which is um, the reference implementation. And what we have to start with is with a class called JAX-RS configuration. Actually, it should be MVC configuration this time and just start the project in the ahex dot mvc and um, what I would do will start with the, to configure the pass first and also it is um, JAXRS uh, um, uh, annotation is actually configures this time the uh, mvc framework so um, I will call this views and it is going to extend the JAXRS application application and now uh, the framework is set up and um, what you would like to do is to create a Java class and the Java class is something like um, the view helper or a class which interacts between the view or, or just prepares the, the data for the, for, the, for the view, for the template and fetches the data from somewhere and I will call it um, uh, hello, hello helper and this can be a model which happens to be a request scope named bean and what I also forgot is to use a bean6ml to enable the dependency injection everywhere so I would like to use all classes will have to injection everywhere and of course in the same folder I will create the actual boundary the business component greeting service and this as always is going to be an EGB and this EGB returns the message return hello and I would like to add something which varies system current time millis so it is uh, the bean and I can inject that into the hello helper so uh, my greetings service gs at inject and um, I would like to expose the message let's say get message and say return return this gs dot message so the interesting part is the uh, view helper or actually the model knows how to fetch the data from the backend and um, now what we need the controller this is actually the key part and our controller, the name of our controller is going to be, of course, a hello controller. And what we have to do is to use the annotation controller and the annotation path. Hello. And what I would like to do is to expose. The, or route to the uh, to the welcome view, and this is going to be hello JSP, and JSP are actually great. So, web pages new um, JSP with the name hello, and um, I will just ignore. Oh, instead of to um, emit the, hello, the static hello world. I would like to use the dynamic one and this is the uh, hello helper and message so as you can see um, it uh, was recognized by the IDE and now let's see what happens so I would like to run it and we should start the glass fish and everything so it just runs on daily builds glass fish right, right now but of course um, in the um, uh, Java E 8 time frame it would run on the release not only of Glassfish but all other servers 
and MVC, what we had, views and hello. As you can see, it seems to work. So, so and this was um, one way to introduce the uh, the model. So what we have, we have the uh, MVC configuration with the application. So again, this is the JAXRS part. We have the model. Actually, helper, I don't like the name helper. It should be the hello model. And we have the controller, which actually only routes to the view. So there is no connection between the controller and the boundary. And we have a, a backend service, greeting service, which um, contains the business logic. And of course, the view is a template. And actually, um, uh, GSPs are really great. So thank you for watching and see you in upcoming conferences, workshops, or even air hacks at Munich Airport. So thank you and bye.